So this is Florence, and Florence is a 12 year old black banded owl. So lovely little lady to throw you in at the deep end. Because Flo's favourite thing to do in the whole world is absolutely nothing. So if anyone is nervous, hold this. Alright, she'll just sort of go, is there a clock? Is there a bird? Oh, oh, yeah. That's how relaxed she is. Yeah. <laughs> Now guys, the best way to hold the birds is like you're holding your favourite drink that you don't want to spill. Okay. So you see how my hand's nice and level? Okay, if I show a few different angles for you guys. Alright, nice and level and steady. That's the way you're going to want your glove the whole time. Please do not have your hand flat. They will hate you. They won't be able to balance, they won't be able to hold on. Like you're holding your favourite drink though. Are you imitating a branch basically? Basically, yeah. So it's something for their feet to be able to wrap sure. around. If it's a flat surface, especially with it being windy, they're just going to go whee and just fall off the other side. All right. Now, well volunteered. Oh. I'll bring her to you first of all. Thank you. This is your closest. Just hold it. Yeah. There we go. So we're going to get her attached nice and safely to your gloves. Because I'd love to say I trust you guys, but sorry I don't. <laughs> uh, this means that one bird physically is not going to be able to get to another one. Yeah, and that's all of you. Now, all I'm going to ask you to do is uh, I'm going to squeeze nice and So we'll pop the equipment into your hand guys. The equipment is all of the stuff attached to the bird's legs. We call it their furniture. It's the equivalent to having a dog on the lead. It's our way of keeping the birds safe. So keeping you guys safe. Would she normally be asleep at this time of day? Uh, this species would normally be hunting at night, but they'd be right. awake at any time of day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so the whole owls are all nocturnal. What you can do with that is go and drop that out the park. Yeah. Like rubbish. Yeah. Like rubbish. Okay. Ooh. Right, you've got the little old man, okay? He needs a bit of love. Okay, this is Oscar. Now, although Oscar is actually younger than Florence here, only by a year, he's 11, he's extremely old for what he is, which is a white face So well, this is what he'll do in the wild. He'll pretend he's a stick and he's hiding away in the trees. Yeah. So he's making himself as small as possible. If he sees something that he's like, come on then, we'll take you on, then he does the opposite. He goes bigger. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I heard someone say it, a kestrel. That's right. So this lovely lady, this is Enzo. She's a nine-year-old common kestrel. Um, as I say, beautiful little native yeah. species. But yeah, we're moving away from the owls now and onto the pole. And you've got the big boy, okay? Also known as the complete and utter fruit loop. That's why I get him out last. <laughs> That's why he picked he on me, isn't it? He's yeah. got the longest glove, yeah. that's all it is. Okay. He, uh, the one that this trap's going to be starting off with, guys, he is the most sensitive out of all the birds with the wind. He will need to be facing yeah. to the wind at all times. Which is that away. Yeah, while he's on your arm. <laughs> yeah. All the others will say you can get away with a little bit, they'll kind of move and shuffle. Um, one you're going to hang out with is called Rowan. He's really going to struggle with the wind remotely at the wrong angle. Yeah. He's like, how dare you? It's windy. Why are you bringing me back out here? Try and keep the flies out. There we go. So this is the lovely Rowan. And Rowan is actually the same age as Florence. He is a 12-year-old Lana falcon. So he is the largest out of these four. Just going to turn you right around. Go. And we're going to get you to make a tight fist for him. And I'm actually going to turn you around a little more. Sorry. Be really particular with him. Beautiful. 
Hello, mate. So, yeah, that's the direction he's going to need to face, guys. You yeah. see how the wind's going through his wings there? It's, it's, it's such an aerodynamic bird that if you have the wind in ever so slightly the wrong direction, he just goes with that wind. Um, so, so he's so built for it. But yeah, you show off your beautiful wings. He's like, oh yeah, that's not pretty. That's not pretty. <laughs> you are. But yeah, he weighs one and a half pounds. So yeah, so yeah. Look at me! <laughs> I'm a falconer. <laughs> well, well, it's funny anyway. Yeah, you to take off, I think. <laughs> I mean, you can feel the, yeah. your, your arm being pulled up. Hello, mate. Hello. 